All right, welcome back everybody. We're gonna be doing a let's play of Shadowrun Returns. This is the first of the Shadowrun trilogy, okay? Uh, I've played the game once, maybe a second time, maximum. Uh, so it's not a blind playthrough, but it's relatively close. I remember a few of the wave top plot point type deals. Uh, aside from that though, we can go ahead and get started. Uh, playing the regular campaign on normal difficulty seems fair. Alright, so we got the create your character page. We're going to go with the mail. So if you don't know what Shadowrun is, uh, Shadowrun is the fantasy answer to sci-fi. It's a... Uh, it's it's not high fantasy so uh, in the story uh in 2020 whatever year it was magic came back to the earth so this is a near future type deal and there's magic there's elves dwarves orcs those kind of things or not orcs yeah there's orcs there's also trolls uh but in this world uh it's that high tech meets low life meets magic. It's over the top sci-fi. They have uh, technology for every last thing you could possibly want, but there's also magic that covers everything else. Okay. Uh, so the options here are humans. Uh, they're the only race at first, just like it was. Ah, so it was uh, 2012. It happened. The minds were right. After that, we have elves. Uh, those are generally just regular elves. Nothing too special about them. Dwarves are about normal too. You know, a dwarf is what you would expect. It's a, it's a short, tough guy. After that, we have orcs. Uh, so, orcs aren't orcs as you would know them in a fantasy setting. They're uh, they're still just people, but they evolved from people for whatever reason. I, I don't know the lore on Shadowrun as well as I would like to, but whenever you meet Orc in this game, it is just a person. You know, it, they're the same as a human, same as an elf, these are all just people. You know, they're not inherently bad guys. Trolls? Uh, very similar to everything else. Uh, it says here they have heavy prejudice against them. And they are inherently less smart by the nature of they are a troll. But once again, that's not to say that trolls are inherently bad guys. They're just big. All of these are different types of people we're going to meet. But the important part is if you meet a really old orc. A really old dwarf, a really old whoever, they could have been a human before. Some of these were born the way they were, and some of these you know, became what they are, you know. Uh, elves are effectively tall people, and they became elves. Dwarves are short people, and they became dwarves. Orcs came from somewhere, and trolls came from wherever they came from. But all that being said, uh, we're going to be playing a dwarf. I like dwarves the best, so that's what we're going to be doing. Down here we have archetypes. These are kind of like classes. Uh, there's not necessarily a class system as you know you would expect a class system you can spec into whatever you want uh, the street samurai is a pretty typical sword and board type fighter there are guns so they would use guns too it's just a very pure combat focus with an emphasis on cyberware which bleeds into the next point these are all kind of broken down um, they have pairs. So a street samurai is similar to a physical adept. 
who's kind of like a monk in a way. They're a magical warrior. Uh, a, a physical adept doesn't want to lose his essence, so they're not going to be taking as much cyberware. Maybe a little, maybe, just a little, but not much. A street samurai couldn't care less. They're going to be, you know, absolutely chromed. Uh, they're going to replace everything they can replace to become the best fighter they can possibly be. Uh, the mage is kind of like the physical adept. They want that essence, and you lose essence whenever you get cyberware. Uh, the magic in this world is in somebody's body. And so as you replace your arm, your eye, your skin, your lungs, your ribcage, as you replace those things, you're pulling away from their mana pool. Because there's less of that person there and therefore the essence is gone the magic is gone and in the original shadow run um you can become what's called a cyber zombie where you effectively kill yourself by accident because you've replaced you with a robot so the answer to a mage who is a typical mage. They're exactly what you would expect. Uh, plus they have heals. They're a general all types of magic user. And that's what they do. Big damage, big support, great guys. I would love to have a mage in the party. The answer to mages is uh... I'm not sure I get this right. Is the... I think the answer to them is the Decker. No, I'm sorry. The answer to them is the rigor. Uh, a rigor is kind of the answer to that. These are going to be chromed up. A mage will not be chromed up. And we can go over what a burnout mage is later, because it's a weird spec that we're not going to be using. They're not relevant in this playthrough. I, I hope. But a rigor is one who... Yeah. Where a mage would summon pets, the rigor builds pets. A mage will summon an elemental, a rigor will say, Oh, I need a very small puppy-sized tank to deal with this. And that's what they would use. They have their guns and their weapons, and that's great. But a rigor's power comes from them supporting their auxiliary. Meaning... They have their pet, and they fight with their pet the same way a mage would. A mage will use a fireball, a rigger would use a grenade. Kind of sort of deal. Uh, the decker is the closest thing you can get to a rogue, and a loose approximation is the shaman, as far as this uh, analogy goes. So the decker, they jack into the matrix with a deck. Uh, a deck is basically a laptop with an aux cord. Uh, Shadowrun was made in the 80s, so a lot of this is a little bit antiquated, but uh, a decker by themselves isn't a fantastic fighter. They have no support. They will not have magic. They, were, they will be chromed up as much as they can to enhance their decking abilities their hacking abilities, and they'll be dangerous inside of the Matrix, meaning in a computer. They'll be, uh, you know, it's kind of like, uh, not a mini game, but a dungeon within a dungeon in this game, but it's launching cyber attacks that can, you know, steal data or take over a turret system or anything like that, and that's, that's what they do super useful you need to have one or at least you need to have somebody able to deck uh, the answer to them is kind of the shaman uh, they're similar to a mage kind of they're just a little bit more uh, they're reminiscent of native american culture as it would have been perceived in the 80s uh, they have their totems, they can also summon, uh, you know, 
they have a different type of magic than mages. Mages have the arcane style magic, but the shaman draws power from nature. Uh, that's kind of how that works. There, are, If you think of it, um, if this analogy helps anybody out there, that's fantastic. <laughs> A mage is the wizard, and a shaman is the sorcerer. A shaman has the magic and channels it. A mage learned how to do it, and now they can do it. And we're going to be picking... None of them. We're going to build our own. Alright, so let's pick our character. It's uh, a pretty cool looking guy. Let's see. They're all a little bit samey, but I like him. He looks good. Uh, down here, I don't know if we can change any of this. Well, kind of can. Uh, the most, most important thing, I just want to give him, you know, a little bit of a beard. Oop. A little bit of a beard and red hair. Nah, not mutton chops. I don't, I don't think I want that. There we go. Looks fine. Continue to stats. Alright, so Karma is basically skill points. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it. And the spec that I'm going to be going for is, you know, mostly a street samurai with bits and pieces of Decker thrown in. He's going to be a pretty typical tank type build. So one of the first things we're going to want to do is increase his body. Uh, half of that, we should probably get his quickness up, along with his ranged combat. Uh, so once you hit breakpoints, you, uh, you get abilities, right? So here we have an additional weapon slot, that's great. That means he can have, uh, two or three weapons, or whatever it is, equipped, which is fantastic. Now he can have his gun and a sword, his shotgun and his pistol, whatever he wants. And we'll figure out what he gets eventually. Overwatch is like readying in action. It's where you don't take any move and you anticipate what the other side is going to do. And that'll let you get the jump on them. They move into your line of fire and you shoot. It, we may or may not ever use that at any point, but we need that because later down the line, you know, he gets better stuff. And you can only increase uh, range combat as far as you have your quickness, and you can only increase your actual uh, weapon skills as far as you have range combat. So if quickness was at one, range combat is capped out at one. If we have quickness maxed out, we can go as far into range combat, but we only have four, so we can only get up to four right now. We have six points left. Strength won't be important. Intelligence won't be important just yet. Well, actually, I want to be able to see uh, their hit points. Biotech is important. These are all uh, pretty obvious you know we're likely to be using shotguns rifles uh, dodge is decently important it's melee attacks kind of important strength honestly not terribly important we're gonna have grenades at some point but typically uh, your grenade slots I would rather have med kits instead close combat's not terribly important right now I don't know if it'll ever be terribly important, but it might become important. 
uh, melee, unarmed, self-explanatory, thrown weapons, about the same, including grenades. Uh, intelligence, underneath intelligence is biotech. Uh, that will let you heal better, it's your medicine skill. We definitely want that. Decking, although not important just yet, will be important. I anticipate we'll get that up to maybe five. Uh, ESP. So the deck is the deck comes with not quite attachments. Isn't the best way to say it, but uh, it's. It's like spells inside of the matrix, and we'll see this in practice sooner or later. So if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, stick with me. Uh, it will make sense at some point. And it's, it's pretty neat. If, you're, if you have a lot of different spells, you're able to do more. But your deck is your weapon in the matrix. Drone control won't be relevant to us. We will likely never spec into it. Uh, willpower's nice. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> magic. So, willpower is... That is the mage, right? It, it's your mage abilities. Well, mage and apparently also adept, but not relevant to us. Charisma is effectively your uh, your shaman abilities. So they're not the same, but every archetype has their special thing. Uh, we're probably not going to be touching too many of these, although conjuring is pretty powerful. But we will not be using that. Let's see here. We got our little bit of intelligence. We have one point left. I think sh I think rifle is going to be our best choice for right now. So that's a pretty typical nothing special here. Pretty typical. Uh, very tanky, you know, <laughs> we, we dumped a lot of points into surviving this, and that's why we're not so strong, but we'll have companions. So, moving on. Actually, we're going to use his other name. This is going to be Empty Tank. It's your, uh, it's not your real name, it's your runner name, your street name, your handle, your working name. His real name could be whatever, but everybody will know him as Empty Tank. So let's get started. So the, uh, this is the setup for it. Now, if we used to be a runner, a runner is one who takes jobs and makes money illegally. Once again, the theme here is high tech, low life. We're a low life. We are sinless, meaning we don't have a serialized identification number. I think that's what that means. So they can't trace us, right? But we're down to our luck right now and we need some money. So let's see if we can find any money. We're out of that new yen. And here we are. It's 3 a.m. And you got nowhere to go but down. Uh, so it's an isometric. Uh, in a similar-esque vein to a d and or Kingmaker or uh, Diablo. So I started looking around. A slip of paper with your bank balance. 
well, we have no money. <laughs> All of our friends, dead or retired. Carter, Detroit, nothing. No friends here. Missing since February. <laughs> Sam Watts. Yeah, nothing much going on right now. Nothing to do. It's a sad life. But our vid phone rings. Who's calling us? And there's Sam Watts. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing, and it's Sam Watts. Hey buddy, hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He giggles, drunk again or worse. Where have you been, Sam? Haven't heard from you in months. Oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Someone finally geeked me, and he's dead. Yeah, that's the that's the unfortunate life of this. There's no voice acting in this game, unfortunately. So, uh, <laughs> you're all stuck with me. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. So why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are me. Hey, remember that Renaku? I think. <laughs> Run when things went to hell and we lost out? Or that makeshift saloon in the docks afterwards? I really had your back that night, didn't I? Dowd. Haven't heard that name in a long time. So what happened that night? And we'll find out. Three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Seattle docks. The night Dowd went down. New Larry? Sam Watts is here. And there's... Sengoma. Let's see what New Larry has to say. New Larry. Looks like a shaman. We've known New Larry for about six months. He's a combat mage. Ah, oh, there it is. Bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. This is a flashback, uh, if you didn't catch that. Dowd never saw anybody die like that before. Idiot. I hate this fragging city. It's wet and the rain feels like acid. And I want out of here. It's true. Uh, I was in Seattle recently, uh, the city I've been wanting to see since having played this game years ago, and uh, it's miserable. <laughs> we wait for the money. Yeah, sure, of course. I'll wait all night if I have to. I don't know, Empty Tank. Sam's a good guy and can hold his own in fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run so far, but he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixer's late. That bastard better show. We need the money. I want to get paid as much as you, buddy. But we need to, but we need to live long enough to actually... Drinks? The new yen we earn. Cut the Drek, Sam. Uh, Drek. They have a lot of funny words in this game. Uh, you'll catch on pretty quick what things mean. Drek is... Bad. 
We both know why Dal went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Uh, chip dream. They're talking about beetles. Beetles will come up pretty soon. I'll explain them. Beetles. Uh, that's BTL. I've been waiting all. I've been waiting for this all night. New Larry. Uh, New Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead. Spill it. You were sloppy. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitching all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. You've been drinking, Sam? On a run? No, not a drip. Not today. Not ever. We were set up, and he knows it, don't you, Larry? That was that call you made before we hit Renaku. Renraku? Uh, there's a lot of Japanese in here. I'll do my best. <laughs> How come you couldn't geek that guy before we unload on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt toast before that gun cleared the holster. Okay, I can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. Chummers, uh, meaning friends. People in general, kind of what that means. Hands where I can see them, Larry. What, you're gonna take my gun away, empty tank? You know, I don't need one. We got incoming. That's uh, probably a troll. Looks like my new Renaku friends are finally here, and they're going to take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully, Empty Tank. I'll buy you a drink after this. You owe me several. Well, there goes new Larry. Alright. So, this is the actual gameplay. Starting off strong. Not concerned with that. So the mechanics here are pretty simple. Uh, you have action points that you can spend however you want. Uh, in general, I think you get like two or three, or I think it's two whenever you start, and later on you get like three or four or something. And then you can use those action points to move, shoot, reload, switch weapons, throw a grenade, whatever it is. Uh, that's the primary, uh, you know, action economy. Uh, on top of that, it's a shooter-based game, kind of like a squad-based, uh, squad-based real-time strategy in a way. And we're gonna want to take cover because taking cover will, you know, keep you alive. Uh, there's different types of cover. So here's a good example if you can't really see it. Some cover is concealment, where they just can't see you quite as well. So it's bad cover. Some cover is partial cover. It goes either way. And then you have hard cover, which is actual cover. It looks like there's a thing over here. So we're gonna be running very far away. Just so I can see what that is. And that's all of his action points. We have Sam. Um, let's see if we can get him any type of decent cover. He can take some concealment, and that'll still let him shoot. A few different modes of shooting, uh, burst fire, two attacks, burst is a burst. It's not too many bullets, so you can still kind of aim, but it's a good bit of bullets. Spray and pray, you're shooting, uh, you don't have a bullet with a name on it, it's to whom it may concern. These guys are not lined up any type of way, so we're just a fire burst at New Larry. Two hits. And then we have this guy, uh, not relevant to the story. So, we are going to... We're going to take an aimed shot at New Larry. 
And he's down. We've got him. We have one more bullet. They're both in partial cover, but I think we're gonna hit one. Yeah. So let's see. She's got aggro, so we're doing pretty good. Got a basic med kit. Not as interesting as I would have liked. And we don't have a great shot on anybody. But I think we can hit him. Ah, that's right, we put two bullets in him. Let's put two more. Got him, he's down. Alright. So, I think this is the one that gets rid of cover. No, it's not. We're gonna use it anyway. Put a lot of bullets in their direction. And we got them. They're down. I don't see anybody else. So let's just move to some better cover. We can reload our weapons. Alright, we got two more. Got a Beretta Model 70. Well, that's not going to do us much good. So I think we're going to do here... Oh, we can't get much better cover. We're going to spray. Let's, let's see if we can just get something. We got a hit. That's not bad. But they're lined up. So see, one attack, four hits. We spray again. We got both of them. And that's how that works. Ah. Uh, so they have a shaman. That's not good. What is good here is that they are in the open. Let's, let's see if we get some better cover somewhere. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't have the Overwatch ability. So, yeah, we'll get him in position. Simonga here is not terribly important. Doesn't matter if she goes down. Alright, that's bad. That is a summoned elemental. Damage. He's a little bit isolated too. Um, all right. Hate and discontent. Send it down range. Ah, but we're out of ammo. So we're gonna have to run to reload and hope that he stays up. Oh, he's out of ammo too. We gotta get that mage down. Putting that mage down is the most important thing here. Oh, still up. But we pulled aggro, so that's... That's good. Empty tank. I need you to heal up, my guy. You're, uh, you're not looking too good. Keep spraying. <laughs> there we go. The mage is down. We got him out in the open. There we go. Big hit. And they're down. You okay, Sam? That was a hell of a thing. You don't look so good, Sam. You're born for this gig and tank. Me? Not so much. I think I'm going to hang it up. Find a nice hotel somewhere. Stay drunk until I croak. How about you? Me? I do this. It's the only life I know. Well, you're dumb, and I'll drink to you when you're dead. Nah, I hope my kid. I'm not gonna outlast you. Guess you can drink to me. Ah, see, it's funny, because we did outlive him. Stare at Samus' face on your comlink. Comlink is kind of like a FaceTime. It's, uh, it's like an iPhone. 
before they knew what an iPhone was. I had your back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking, my, now I'm asking myself, who would care if I die? Who would care? Better or worse, your name's at the top of the list. Maybe it's the only name on the list. So I set up a dead man switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand new yen insur insurance policy payable when you find who creased me. Alive with a conviction or in a body bag with justification, either works. New yen is the money. Uh, it comes from yen, Japanese currency, but it's the new yen gold. Basically, it's it's the money. Contact my law firm, Rogers, Mengert, and McCain, when the job is done. They'll know what to do. Chet? Uh, well, just man, this dude. Purple and gray pinstripe. That's, uh, I'm going to steal that look. Pursuant to Mr. Watch's wishes, Rogers, Mergent, Mengert... I can't, I don't know. Mingert and McCain has installed a security device. <coughs> Sorry about that. Has installed a secure dedicated phone line so you may contact us directly when the task is complete. We will then begin a verification process. Note that you must also be on a secure landline to access this number. We do not accept transmissions from comlinks or other devices. Look into tank. I led a direct life. And I probably left a direct corpse. I've hurt people, hurt myself, I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap that I sucked air for a while. What do you say? I'd say my schedule's pretty clear right now. Hope you just said yes. I've got a locator chip slotted in my head these days. If, when, my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. Rest in peace, Sam. See you in Seattle. And so now we go to Seattle. Dead man switch. There we go. 100,000 new yen on the line. All right, so here we are, and well, the SeaTac tarmac. I've actually been there in real life. Not a rental car, though, not a cab. <laughs> a cab from a uh, SeaTac. It's a uh, Seattle Tacoma, which I'll I'll tell you some funny stories if we get a little bit of downtime. I got like two, but we're gonna go try to find his body. So here we are. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm in the back. Good to go. Coming our coming through. <laughs> and there's our man. Yeah, this place apparently smells of death and decomposition. Yeah, that's probably Sam over there. Yep, that looks like a doctor. Sorry, didn't expect any visitors at this hour. And some guy at corporate took my receptionist. What can I do you for, sir? Are you the coroner? I'm John Dresden, the Oregon Grinders branch manager here. So yeah, that makes me this franchise's area coroner too. And you are? Empty tank, I represent a man named Sam Watts. And I'm here to look into his murder. Interesting. A dead man makes for a strange client, but what makes you think he's here? Sam had a locator chip embedded in his skull. I followed it here. I see. Well, you're right. He's here. Not so many people know about the murder yet, though. Uh, the press haven't caught wind of it yet. What with it being all out of the way here in the Barrens. 
So who told her he was dead? Sam's digital, Sam's digital ghost. When his heart stopped, I got sent a recorded message asking me to bring his killer to justice. Guess he had a hunch. A dead man's switch, eh? Fascinating. I was working on him earlier. He's over the year. I guess he is over here. He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. Emerald City. I think that just means Seattle. Never really figured that one out, but... Seattle is a pretty neat city. Ripper style. Emerald City Ripper? Not my title. This is the Seattle press and system calling the killer. All I know is that like the original Jack, our Ripper knows how to handle a scalpel. But this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. And... Watt's liver was cleanly cut out. How about the other lucky contestants? The first victim was... Uh, the first victim was missing his heart, and the third had the spleen removed. Dresden, get out of here. McCluskey, we don't like him. He's a, he's not a friend. Ah, uh, basic med kit. A little bit of, a little bit of thievery will be fine. Let's see. So Sam has a couple things on him. Let's look at that business card. The Seamstresses Union. Now let's look at the cred stick. We're going to take his cred stick. And we got 300 new yen. He won't miss it. Look at the purple shirt. Uh beaten up shirt. Oh, we got a note. Let's see what's here. I feel terrible that we are we have been or long to say I'm er see you there, love Jessica. Well not much here, but let's go see what McCluskey wants. We don't like him, and we'll find that out soon. Yeah. He's a pretty typical uh, 80s cop, I guess. So this new Ripper Vic Watts name's familiar. Didn't... What the... What? <laughs> Ow. So this new Ripper Vic Watts. Name's familiar. Did his mother kill herself a while back? So you insisted at the time. Come on, she offed herself. I had it on very good authority. Now let's go Dresden. Give me something to work with here. The Ripper's case is my ticket to being a two bit. The Ripper case is my ticket to a lieutenant's badge. I've already posted everything I know. The killer stuns a target with a combination of drugs and magic and then removes a single internal organ while they're still alive. The perpetrator is most likely right-handed with a slim hand that knows its way around a scalpel. Has a decent understanding of human and metahuman anatomy too. So I'm looking for a whacked out surgeon? Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeons who can still use scalpels anymore. These days it's all done with computer controlled lasers. Could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medicine aficionado. You're no help, dwarf. Yeah. Well, too weak to intimidate him. Who are you? Um. 
I'm new in town. You the welcoming committee? If you're new in town, then let me be the first to tell you that I run the show. If you get in my way, I'll end up back here on a slab. Oh, yeah, I will. He won't. I hate this guy. Dress and get me more. I'm putting someone in a cell or a box this week and claiming my promotion. Eh, he's not a friend. It's a lot of dialogue in this game. It's a, uh, this is about to be a long playthrough. <laughs> Do you always make friends that easily? I'm great at dinner parties too. Be straight with me. You really gonna work for the dead man? Same was there when I needed him. I'm gonna return the favor. Fascinating again. Detective McCluskey isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He convicted his own mother if he met another 10 new yen a week in his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. You have honor, after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we have that in common. What can I do to help you? On the take, who's paying to hold his leash? I don't know, but someone with major pull has been looking out for McCluskey's career and my wallet. What was that McCluskey said about Sam's mom? The official report says she committed suicide about a year ago. Are you the official in that sentence? My name's in the report, my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say that it wasn't suicide, but there were unusual bruises on her upper arms, and she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. What are organs worth nowadays? A whole healthy body can be worth a bunch of new yen, but individual organs, not worth as much. What with all the synth and cyber stuff on the market these days, Organ grinders only deal in recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop shops that aren't as picky, though, and they don't care where the bodies come from either. We still use the scalpels. Doctors still learn how to use them in their first year of med school, as do coroners, but neither professions use it much anymore. It's possible some of the similar chop shops still use scalpels, I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. Have you heard of the seamstress union? It's a nearby club in the Barrens that attracts low lives. You'd probably like it. Me, I'm not really the going out type. Always too much to be done around here, plus the dinner is easier to get along with. I just need to know one more thing. Where was Sam killed? Hey, we got two karma. You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around those body lockers in the back and see if you find anything useful? Do you know the murder site or no? Alright. Now we start stealing all of his things. Med kits. Incredibly important. Uh, the dock wagon is like a self revive. Very important. Let's open this drawer and see what's in here. Fully clothed man. Uh, it's a man. Might be a shaman. I told John to wake me up at 6 in the morning. Is it 6 yet? It doesn't feel like 6 yet. Sorry, didn't expect you to be so... alive. Yeah, Joseph thinks it's pretty funny. You're not the first person he's pulled this one on. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I know she hasn't killed me yet, so... that's good. If you aren't after me, then what's your story? 
I'm looking into the death of Sam Watts. The coroner seems to think you can help me out. Sam, eh? Glad somebody cares. We used to drink together every now and then over at the Union. Decent enough guy. Always in tr trouble over something or other, though. John, is this guy cool? Yeah, he's on the level. Working for Sam, believe it or not, he's some sort of some sort of dead man switch. I thought you could help him out. Maybe even stop moping around the shop all day. Thanks for volunteering me. All right then. My name's Jake. And you are? Nice to meet you, Jake. I'm empty tank. And well mannered too. Such a rare thing in the city. Well, it sounds like you've been taking a deep dive into the deep end here. John's right. I might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night, the night of the murder. Poor guy. He was hanging at the seamstress union that night, tripped out and rowdy. I've been laying low there for a few days and after a bad run. Kubota? Kabata? Miss Kabata? That's her name now. <laughs> Miss Kabata asked me to throw Sam out, so I did. But out in the alleys, some gangers got the jump on me. Heck, maybe I need some soy calf after all. John, could you grab me a cup? Get your own cup. My hands are dirty anyway. Now what's wrong with his this intest? And yeah, maybe he doesn't know how scalpel works either. Thanks, John. You're a real pal. Anyway, there's a big fat corp... Uh, corp... Corp bounty on my head. Like I said, my last job didn't exactly go according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got the jump on us. Gangers thought they could turn a quick profit off my head. Sam stumbled off during the fight, though, and that's the last I saw of him. Until he turned up here. Dead on arrival. Reminds me of my last day in this place. You've done this before? It's a long story. I end up in the morgue more often than the average guy. Yeah, Jake's a regular here. Should have started a rewards card, Jake. A few more visits and you get a free night's stay. I'll do that, John. Anyway, they found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union. Liver missing and all. Tell you what, you look like you can handle yourself in a fight, and I could use some backup to settle the score with those Halloweeners out there. Their leader's got the whole gang searching the barons for me. I need to get rid of that guy. In return, I'll take you to the place Sam was murdered. It's not safe to hit these streets at night, trust me. And maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while you're at it. Uh, I'm going to throw in the caveat here that that's incredibly true uh, in real life and in the game. Uh, in real life... Uh, my first night in Seattle, I witnessed a robbery in progress, and uh, uh, outside the hotel I was staying at, somebody got shot in the parking lot. That was the, my first night there. So I promptly left that hotel and got a place on the nearest military base. It was smooth sailing after that. <laughs> what do you say? I do like a bit of street justice. I do like a bit of street justice every now and then. All right, Jake, come in. Great. I've been hiding out here ever since that run with those Halloweeners, whiny bunch of gangers. But the stretch of the Barons is their turf. Heck, I'm surprised you even made it to this morgue in one piece while packing some heat. Very funny, Jake. You can sleep in the dumpster tomorrow. So you need a weapon. I like to keep my distance. Got a rifle? You don't like library windows, do you? Never mind. Here's a rifle you can borrow. This man has four guns on him. Okay, I'll take a rifle. So, ready for evening out in the town? If you're buying. Hey, I've already provided the party favors. Alright, well, I don't think there's much else here. 
And now we get to go explore the beautiful streets of the Barrens. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Yep, going to the Barrens. I imagine the Barrens are kind of the Tacoma section of SeaTac. My brief experience in... Um... There we go. My brief experience in Seattle was uh, a weird one. Yeah, but this is the Barrens. Uh, it's not a great place. Alright, so I guess now we're kind of actually into the game. Uh, if you look around enough, you can find things every once in a while. Sometimes cool stuff, sometimes not so much. Um, dwarves are your favorite. Well, I suppose they are. Yep. Alright. That looks like some waist-high cover, so we know what's about to happen here. This is also actually what Seattle looks like. Uh, it's a very faithful recreation. Once again, having been there, this is this is it. You're looking at it. Let's open this thing up. Take some gear. Safe opens. Okay. Oh man. Hey, we found a fichetti grenade. And we are getting hit with a bat. And shot. Well. Joke is on them, because I have 24 reasons why they should probably rethink this. Now, we're not able to take cover right now. Um, he's gonna get the shot on us, so we're gonna want to take cover. And get a shot off. It was a good hit, too. I guess we get to put one more bullet in him. There we go. So welcome to the Barrens. Guess I need to find a new spot to hide my gear. So I should invest in real estate around here? Only by the hour. Hey, you ever seen where I stay the night? Now you've got some gear to deal with those Halloweeners. Alright. Well... It's, uh, it's about the one hour mark, so we're gonna stop it right here. But I hope that now you kind of have an understanding of how the game works. And I'll be able to break down things as we go. It'll get more complicated uh, eventually. But for now, we're not doing too, too bad. A little bit of money. Got a weapon. All pretty solid. So I guess we're going to go ahead and uh, pop a save here. I guess there are times. Yeah, so I guess I played this two years ago. Well, there we go. Thank you for watching, and next time we're going to take care of some Halloweeners.